The Chronicle of Georgia is located on a large hill in the northern part of Tbilisi. The Chronicle of Georgia is a monument located near the Tbilisi Sea. It was created by Zurab Saratelli in 1985, but was never fully finished. The monument sits at the top of a large set of stairs. There are 16 pillars that are between 30 to 35 meters tall and the top half features kings, queens, and heroes while the bottom part depicts stories from the life of Christ. There is a grapevine cross of Saint Nino and a chapel. The Chronicle of Georgia records the history of Georgia in detail. During the first 5,000 years of human occupancy, the population of Georgia was scanty and thinly spread. Homo erectus has been living in Georgia and developing slowly since the Paleolithic era. After the beginning of the Christian era, a minor revolution took place in the culture of the sedentary shellfish-eating people. They begin to make pottery. Therefore, Georgian pottery-making technology is also demonstrated at the top of the Chronicle of Georgia. Georgia was annexed by Russia in 1783. It was incorporated into the Soviet Union in 1936 and renamed the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic Georgia SSR. This location offers a spectacular view of the Lake Tbilisi Sea. It is an artificial lake in the vicinity of Tbilisi that serves as a reservoir. It was opened in 1953 and has become a popular recreation spot. There is a chapel within the site of the monument. We can get contrasting views from every direction of the monument. During the Soviet period, Zurab Saratelli built this monument with Soviet funds. In the early 1990s, due to the collapse of the Soviet Union and the Russo-Georgian War, there was a lack of funds, and the monument was never fully completed. Until now, intermittently, work continues on the monument. <laughs>